Oh. Doopy 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 trees. What happens to them when they fall off the galaxy or planet? I have no damn idea. <laughs> hmm. So yeah, what else is there to talk about? I don't know. I don't know, did you hear the Wii U got a firmware update? It did? That, that's... That's interesting. It did? <laughs> yup. That's interesting, I'll have to admit. It. it got one. Can we ask why, though? What did they break this time for homebrew? Absolutely nothing. Then... The only thing they added is something for ERA because of the GDPR. That's it. Oh. Hmm. But it, it was an update. People thought you know, Switch is going to get an update, but nope. I mean, the Wii U did. I mean, I guess the Switch is doing fine. <laughs> what can you update on the Switch? Well, I mean, there's some things you actually can't stop unless you got the the newer batch. Good old firmware. <laughs> Good old hardware issues. Mm -hmm. Hardware issues. Yeah, someone found a hardware exploit that actually can't be patched. Can't well that because it's hardware. <laughs> unless they, unless they, unless they come to your break into your house and then get a couple engineers <laughs> to. I mean, in. if we live in a very I mean, dystopian world, they very well could. They're gonna, they're just breaking into your house, get a couple engineers to laugh at your, to laugh at your anime stickers that you put on it. <laughs> they just don't even do anything. They just laugh at that. They just laugh, and then they just, and then they just, and then they just go away. They just go away. They just walk away. <laughs> like, ah, look at this loser. He likes the freaking Evangelions. Uh. And then they, and then they, they laugh out of your house, and then you're like, what the fuck. That's like, that's probably a green text on 4chan already. <laughs> probably. 4chan has many things that are dumb. Well, obviously. I wouldn't have it any other way. But would you have it where everything's as dumb as 4chan? Probably not. I just, there, there only needs to be one really stupid place. And then after that... Okay, fine, screw you. I guess I'm not going to look at this star and blind jump toward it. Where is it? There we go. <laughs> almost. That almost yeah, went horribly. Mm -hmm. Remember that? Remember when we had to collect green stars in Super Mario 60? <laughs> no, I don't. Oh. Wanna elaborate? Well, back in Super Mario 64, you can press the B button, and that did something! <laughs> I forget what it did. Is that the attack button? I don't know. I don't know. Yep. Yeah. Super Mario 64, as a video game, it has a whole bunch of- it has a whole bunch of useless shit, like the spin kick. You know Mario's down smashing ball? Uh -huh. That's for Mario 64. I don't know why it exists. I don't know why Mario punches anything. Ask Miyamoto or Sakurai. Maybe they'll be able to tell you. After laughing at you. After laughing at my <laughs> anime. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. <laughs> no, they don't bring in engineers. They just bring in Miyamoto himself. Oh yeah, Miyamoto comes in like, ah, 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 that anime was so five years ago, granddad. <laughs> Except he says it's in Japanese. Yeah. Does Miyamoto know English? I think he a sh bit. knows a little bit. A little bit? He knows. He knows. He knows the... He knows the, he knows the performance English words as in how to say welcome to, welcome to Nintendo Direct. Hmm. I mean most, I mean a lot of Japanese words are basically English sound, are English sounds. Why is that? Uh, how does, how did this happen? World War II, I guess. <laughs> I was fucked This seems to be a recurring trend. Yeah. No, when, no, at the beginning it was just fucking up. This is almost fucking up. No, I, this seems to be a recurring trend now. Yes. <laughs> yeah, I'm and I feel like that's a phrase I, I've picked up from some of my friends in college. I mean, when, when World War 
I mean, I, there, was, there was kind of like a story that I, that me and the friends co did a couple years ago that I think we're still, we're still, I think it's technically complete, but we don't know what we do with it. Basically, after a World War III, they start enlisting smart people who can speak other languages, which causes something to happen. Basically, we, it's world peace, and then everyone starts naming each other, every their kids after the people they meet from different countries. I don't know what I don't know what I'm talking about. Does anyone? No. That's what I thought. Okay. Good talk. Good talk. Endless trash. <laughs> okay then. <laughs> Good job. I pressed the A button. No, you didn't. Now you did. This is a nice little remix, though. I think it sounds nice. Ah, uh -huh. you suck. I mean, that's that's a common. That's that's normal. Mm -hmm. I generally suck at most things. No, I'm talking to the guy now. Oh. I can't tell because honestly, you telling me that I suck seems like something you would do. I mean, I would. Yeah, that's what I thought. <laughs> I usually do to everyone. <laughs> everyone sucks. Including you. Including me. But definitely me. Uh oh. No! <laughs> that almost got you smushed again. Yeah. Or flanged off into the. Please? Mr. Guy. You just can't win. <laughs> Mr. <laughs> Mr. Guy, I need I am in need of your usefulness. Oh, Mr. Guy. Oh God damn it, Mr. Not Guy. quite. Oh, he... Where did the human go? <laughs> Where'd the human go? That seems to be another recurring phrase. Yeah, that's because it's just so much fun to say. <laughs> Did that start in Artanoko? It started in Artanoko too, yes. That's 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 another that's another phrase that's come from that let's play. God damn. That let's play was just so legendary. <laughs> that works. I don't know how physics <laughs> apparently. Do you think we should we should ever like revisit Artanoko? Yes. Too? There's like so yes. many endings to do. <laughs> Would that be another random talks? Basically, I hope. <laughs> I hope. You know, I think I can actually connect the capture card to the it PS2. Might have, it might have actually, it might actually have to be its own Wii Let's Play just because we, just because we also have Lucas Path to do. How about we not do a hundred percent on the on the replay through? We kind of have to for the for the talky bits. Oh no. Oh. Yeah, you've done it before, it's easy! <laughs> well, then you get to grind for the final IPD next time. Yeah! Because I don't want to be spending another three hours. I mean, it's not like it's too long. It didn't, it didn't extend the game by that much longer. Yeah, but I spent like three hours trying to find a single enemy. Yeah. I don't want to do that again. That's, that's, that's something you get to experience next time. Hooray! Because fuck that! Wait, here's the Luigi ghost now. Oh shit! He's activated! What? It's a Luigi ghost. It's what does the Luigi ghost do? He is there to see... He, he, this is a previous ghost that he made. That's supposed to show you how fast you get the level. And that's it. Oh. As you can see, I was, a, I was an idiot back in, my, back in my younger years. Before Luigi bots. Before you called yourself Kyrie Ray. This is, uh, one, this is, uh, one BL before Luigi. Yep. I missed it. <laughs> I Good missed job. It, so. I know where you are. No, no. Slowly but surely. There you go. What did the shell do? 
It did something, and I'll probably figure it out when I relook at the footage. It did something. That's all I know. But yeah. We talked about Disney for a little bit, so I'm going to say fuck Disney again. <laughs> Just because. You already said that. Yeah. Fuck Disney. God damn it. When will, when was, when is art going to be art again? Probably never. Yeah. Actually, I want to ask you something. Yeah? In terms of, like, art, would you say that the portray, the portrayal of sex, of sexual, sexually explicit or sexually divergent topics, would that be, would you, would you, would you think that that has a place in, in say, like, as art. As art. Like, do you think it should be portrayed? Do you think the stigma behind it should go away? Hmm. Something like that. Or do you Damn think- Damn it, that's a good question. Yeah. Damn it, now I have to think. Well, I'm just- I'm, I'm just- I'm just wanting of your opinion. I'm trying to come up with one now, damn it! Yeah. <laughs> thing is, it's like, that, that's part of being human. Yeah. The whole sexually diverse thing. That's that's part of being human. Well, sex is sex is a very human thing. Let's, yeah. Let's, 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 let's get that out of the way right out of that. Like, you kind of need it. Well, you don't need it. Well, it's just, you need it's it just to, a very natural thing. You need it to thing. create offspring at the very least. It's a very natural thing. How about that? It's, it's part of the cycle of life. Yes. As, 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 it's as normal as, as it gets. So why is there a stigma around it being portrayed? Is it considered indecent? Uh, indecent and if so, why? Indecent because America was uh, founded by Puritans. Hmm. But then why do they find it indecent? Because they're religious. Okay, and why does their religion find it indecent? Religion, question mark. Do they have a good reason for finding it indecent? I have no idea. It's probably just a few passages in the Bible. Because <laughs> as we said earlier, Saka is a very normal thing to have and do. <laughs> to have and do. <laughs> I, I'd probably think like as long as it's like tasteful, not just shoehorned in. Yeah, that's yeah, that's a, that's the thing. That's as long as it's thinking. tasteful, and not shoehorned in for no reason whatsoever. It's 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 fine. Yeah, that's what that's what I'm thinking of, was thinking about too. Because like because like art, because art, I think there should be no bounds to what art should explore. Like as long as it, as long as it portrays it in an intriguing, thoughtful way. Because if it's just there, if it's and, just there for no there reason, and it sucks ass. Then if what's the reason? If it's there and it sucks ass, it becomes exploitative, right? And then what's like, the point? Because when, when, when we talk about sex and stuff like that, that is mainly a women's a, a women's issue. Because like, who who do you want to see having sex? Girls, obviously, right? Ex unless you're gay, right? Probably. Yeah. I don't know. It's like yeah. like portraying portraying sex in movies or like portraying a rape in movies, especially. Oh God. Mm. That's death. That's ex that's 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 an exploitation of your fe female actress, right? Would you agree with that? And it probably depends on how they show it then. Yeah, exactly. How it shows or if it's important, right? Is there like there's a big there's a big thing about like rape in movie is that if is like if if you if your movie has rape in it is there any other is there any other what is there any other thing you can do to, to portray to you other than rape can, or do, or are you forced to use rape like what other thing can you do other than rape and if so why aren't you using that what case would it be where that's the only choice that someone would use and that's and that's and that's the question you have to ask, right? When when would it? When would it, when it, when is it appropriate to use rape as to use rape as a as a primary subject of a scene or a movie? I mean, the, I mean, it could be it could be like it could be like it could be like for example, you have a whole bunch of characters. You don't you want to create a drama, but you don't want anyone to die. Hmm. 
something like that. I feel like there's other ways to create drama without people dying. Yeah. There could be financial crisis. Could I mean, be a falling it out. It like you want something physical, physical and physically damaging to someone, but you don't want someone to die. But at the same time, you don't want you don't, you don't want something you don't want someone to be like actually. Yeah, this is really hard, isn't it? So like, what what would fisticuffs count for that? Exactly. If you're getting punched, if you're getting mauled in the street, like, although if 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 it's if it's a guy beating up a girl, right? Oh, uh, then we come mm -hmm. to the topic of domestic abuse, don't we? Yeah, domestic abuse. But if it's just a random guy on the street drunkenly punching a girl, is that is that dramatic enough? Is that traumatic enough? Because it's, there's also the trauma of rape mm. and stuff like that. We're not trying to justify oh. rape in movies. This is a no. very this is a very polarizing issue. And this is pretty much just hypothetical as the movie. Like, <laughs> this is this is just there's almost no reason to ever use rape in a movie unless your movie is about sex. In which case, you can have whatever the fuck you want. I guess it all comes down to what role does it play. Yeah. What's the reason? The reasoning. The and is there a good? And is the reason a good one? The reason, the justification, uh, no, not justification. The the results of it, the aftermath of it, the consequences, all that stuff needs to be considered. And that's probably about it for that topic. Yeah. Okay. So instead of so this, let's not talk about rape anymore and talk about rape. <laughs> I swear to God. Yeah, that's it for that topic. Yeah. I wanna know. Yeah. How many, how many movies have have you watched though? I know we ha I know none of us have been watching movies lately. Uh, very little. Cause I don't think I've watched that many movies at all. Uh, like the ones I can easily remember off the top of my head are probably watching Up. Up, okay. Uh, Up, a Pixar movie, TV yeah. animated. Uh, the story is pretty. Eh. Probably watching Guardians of the Galaxy. Ha! And comedy movie in the Marvel universe. Wreck It Ralph. Disney Pixar movie. Scott Pilgrim vs. the World. Comic book adaptation. <laughs> I don't know about that. Uh... Those are the only ones I can really think of off the top of my head. Yeah. I, I enjoyed. I enjoyed. I enjoyed him for what it was. Scott Pilgrim vs. the World. I watched it a little bit. It kind of. It was weird, at least. I'll give it weird, and that's about it. Eh. I enjoyed I mean, it. Like, I, I, I watched a little bit of it without knowing that Scott Pilgrim is a comic book. Oh. Yeah, you probably do want to at least yeah. read need, the comic book for, like... You definitely need to read the comic book, because there's a scene where a guy rides a skateboard down, like, a whole bunch of shit. It, it explodes at the very end, and a whole bunch of points come up, and like, is this supposed to be a video game adaptation? Yeah, you, 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 you need to read, you the, comic need to read the comic book first. <laughs> you need to read the comic book. That's 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 kind of mandatory for yeah, that kind of movie. Mand mandatory viewing. Mandatory reading. Yes. Yeah, I watched it along with my parents and some of their friends. It was a fun time. All right. I didn't understand it because I, I didn't know it back then, so I. And I actually read through like all the comics. I have to. I, I read I through have all to of them. I have to read the comics. I have, no, not read the comics. I have to read. I have to rewatch it in order to form an opinion on it. And then, and then, I mean, we did play through the game at least. Yeah. That, that was the a silly game time. Being, yeah, whatever. The game was a silly time. The game was. We have a fully agreed never to play games like that ever again. Intentionally. <laughs> yes. There we go. I hate this galaxy. Holy shit! And it just now dawned on you. Yes. Like well, I had, I had. It was, it was building up. <laughs> Good job. Yeah. But yeah. Holy Those God. are the ones I can really think. Oh yeah, Monty Python and the Holy Grail. Oh, that one. God damn you! 
That's the other one I I, I recall watching. Yeah. And that's about it. Yeah. You. So you so you only you were only interested in the pop already established in culture thing type of movies. I haven't really watched much. Yeah. Not much interests me at this point anymore. You should you should give like you should give like indie movies a try. I recommend a little bit of it. There's a lot of there's a lot of prerequisites that you need. Oh yeah, and then I had to watch Inception, but that was for that was for school. Okay. But I actually, had, but I actually had to watch the whole thing. Inception was a piece of shit, and you know it. It was it was a thing. It was a piece of shit. I am walking in the opposite direction. That yes, I'm you are. <laughs> Check your orientation. I think one of the recent movies I watched was Jumanji. Okay. Jumanji? That's an adaptation of a children's book, I think. Which is kind of like a video game, I think. It's we're, a we're board inside game. game. I've never heard of it. It's a board game. Board game. <laughs> it's not a video game. It, it didn't look like it was like a video it game. It was a board movie. game. The I've... people play a board game. <laughs> I have what? never heard of this. Wait, really? Okay. What? You watched the movie without noticing it was a board game? Which no. one are you talking about? Which one are you talking about? There's probably several. There's probably several. Yeah, they were playing a video game, but they're getting stuck into a TV screen in that movie. It... What the fuck? Is this a remake of it or something? It was published 2017. Okay, then it's a remake. The original one is a board game. Uh. <laughs> they have a board game but wild shenanigans happen. Basically. The all, in the in the in one the, in the older one, what happens is uh, a couple of people play a board game, and the guy gets trapped in a jungle in the first turn, and the other person gets scared away by bats, and then 15 years later, two other kids pick up the game, and they have to beat the game. <laughs> yeah, it was kind of like <laughs> it was, it's sort a of weird movie. Similar, it just made a video game. Yeah. It's a weird movie because they because when they beat the game, spoiler spoiler warning. Oh when boy! They, when they beat the game, right? Uh, when they beat the game, like everything reverts back to normal. So the people, so the people who are grown ass adults now, they're no they longer get, grown ass they adults. They warp back to when they were kids when they first started playing, and the kids that were and the other two kids that were playing with don't exist <laughs> because they weren't born yet. Oh, <laughs> it's that was a weird <laughs> ending. <laughs> that was a really weird ending. Interesting enough movie though. It was like an action movie, but it was a board game. Probably not the best movie, but it was alright. So yeah, that's why I say I'm not very cultured at all. Yeah. I keep telling people and they don't believe me. <laughs> There's, it, it's getting to, movies are getting to the same point video games are, where, someone, where, people have to, where people have to determine whether they want entertainment or art from their movies. Although, 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 they, although people are fairly are, are fairly defi are fairly defined in what they enjoy out of the movie, at least. Yeah, video games are still a rather uh, undefined. Yeah. For better, for worse. Yeah. No real, go no real good horror movies though, aside from the "I'm gonna spook you to jump scare death." I am not even sure what that is. <laughs> it's modern horror movies. <sighs> Ouch. Ow. I like that was an enemy they never brought again, the Sparky enemies from the, the arcade. They don't really look like the arcade ones though. The shape is the same. The shape <laughs> sure, but otherwise no. Otherwise no. Luigi! Green Mario, thank you. <laughs> but yeah, I don't know. I watched Gattaca. I liked that movie. It was very sciencey, 
artsy fartsy bullshit. Never heard of that one either. Uh, the premise is that it's the future, okay. and then where parents can choose the genetics of what the genetic outcome of the kids. Oh, that won't go horribly wrong. And then, and then few, and then society becomes based on on these on these good humans that have been genetically altered, right? And there's a whole stigma of people who are born at who are born from naturally having sex. Oh. That was that was an actual scene. People having sex. <laughs> in, a, in a way, that was like that's an appropriate moment for people for having sex in a movie, because there's a because there's an actual disparity between people, between people ha from naturally born parent, being people naturally born and people genetically born, hmm. genetically altered and born. Right? That's an appropriate. That's appro That's an appropriate time to have sex. In a movie. In a movie. In my opinion, at least. Could have been a bit. Could have been handled a bit better, I guess. Who knows? That's probably it for today, huh? Yeah. Let me just get, get, get done with Gattaca for a second. Basically, the, the premise is that there's a guy, there's a kid who was born from, who was naturally born, right? He gets a whole bunch of health complications, and he wants to go into space. Okay? And then, so he also has a he has a he, he, the, his parents get a brother who is genetically altered, right? Yeah. And and he is like the less and he's the and he's the, like the kid that the parents like more. Oh. Right. And so, f fast forward to the future, they're all grown up now. The er, the firstborn son, he's he's naturally born, so he's he so he's uh, discriminated against something something racism, right? And and so he is he's faking it. He's faking it in order to get into society, right? So he has he has this he has he's he's using this like this other guy's DNA and such. His luck, his DNA, because the other guy he's crippled, right? Hmm. It's a pretty interesting movie. It, has, it says a lot of things. I'd recommend it. It's a bit, it's a bit sciencey and a bit artsy fartsy, and the freaking title is a pun on genetics, but you know, you know. That's probably enough for today, huh? Yeah. Oh god. Uh, that was know. that was a topic. That was a topic.